I'm very pleased to uh, present you this morning uh, what uh, European Union and France uh, are doing in Africa right now. Um, <clears throat> beyond the cliché about uh, a secret agenda, about uh, colonialism history, uh, and so on, I would like to, to give you some examples that uh, European Union and France right now develop a new, uh, some new path about uh, security and development in Africa. Uh, sometimes uh, alongside in the same matters and sometimes uh, European Union has some tools and some strategic guidance and some politics and sometimes France develops some national matters and national politics as well. <coughs> So, uh, I, I would like to, to, to give you some uh, elements and some uh, insight about uh, European Union as a global partner for Africa. Uh, then, uh, the new or the new or the, or the renewed approach about uh, strategic matters in Africa for France. And uh, maybe uh, first, maybe mostly important, I would like to give you some um, example of innovative solution to confront new threats, not only about international partners, France, EU, uh, United States, but by African countries themselves. Uh, France and European uh, Union uh, have developed a new uh, strategic approach about the about the borders. We share, uh, we share the idea that the peace and stability of Europe, of Europe and France, uh, obviously, depends uh, on the peace and stability uh, of the countries alongside Europe. Uh, European eastern borders, especially deals with Russia and the problem of Ukraine. The second zone is uh, the Mediterranean Sea, with uh, some issues about North Africa, Libya, uh, migration, and so on. And the third uh, main security zone for European Union and France is Africa, with four main uh, regions. The, the first one is North Africa and Sahel Science Trip. The second one, the third one is Gulf of Guinea, and the fourth one is Horn of Africa. These four regions, North Africa, the Sahel or the sahel saharan Strip, Gulf of Guinea and or North Africa are probably the, the four most important regions uh, for European Union about security and development matters. Um, European Union uh, developed, uh, has been developing for a long time right now um, a comprehensive approach about security matters. Yes, right now, for a lot of uh, reasons, I, don't, I do not want to, to speak uh, about uh, this morning, uh, we are not a, a, a common defense. There is no uh, a staff or joint staff with troops and so on, but we develop and a defense, a security approach in common. And especially with a very efficient tool, the Peace Support Facility, PSF, or Facilité de Paix et de Sécurité. And this tool is very useful because in the same tool, you can give some money for different programs in security, development, and defense matters. And for example, uh, European Union spent 2 billion euros uh, for 2000, since 2014 uh, uh, with this uh, tool of uh, peace and support facility. The three main uh, objectives of European Union in Africa is first the, the, the Africa operation in the continent, EMISOM, uh, and so on, uh, MINUSCA, or support of the international operation in Africa. They give, uh, uh, European Union gives a lot of money about uh, Africa operation on the continent. The second one is the support of the peace, uh, of the African peace and security architecture, APSA. And the third one is the idea to deal or to manage the, the crisis 
before they arise. And the idea to support the development of some tools about mediation, about uh, a quick response uh, team, a diplomatic team, to deal with the crisis before they arise. And if you, uh, the, the, the last example, and maybe the most important example of this kind of idea, is Gambia. Uh, Gambia, after, with uh, the election, the last presidential election, uh, President Yala Jame decided not to recognize the re result of elections, and African Union and ECOWAS decided to do something. Some diplomats uh, came in, uh, in, uh, in Gambia to, 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 to talk with the former president and explain to him that he has to remove. And, uh, and just after, some troops from Senegal and other countries, of course, uh, uh, has been deployed alongside the border from Gambia, and the result was very positive because President Jan J J Yaya Jame decided to, 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 to quit the country, and uh, right now, Gambia is a democracy with a new president. This map, very, not very uh, well known, uh, but you can see in this map that European Union uh, right now have 18, uh, sorry, 17 uh, missions uh, outside the, uh, about security and defense, and especially in Africa, with eight missions on the continent, and most of them are a military operation. For example, EUTM Mali, uh, EUTM Somali, or uh, the mission to rebuild the Central African uh, Army in Central African Republic. And I will give you a more uh, example right now. About Horn of Africa. Uh, it is a very good example of the comprehensive approach of the uh, European Union in Africa. You can see uh, in this slide that European Union has a military operation, a naval operation, Atalanta, to deal with, pir with pir pir piracy uh, alongside the Somalian bo borders and the coast. We have a, a training military operation, EUTM uh, Somalia. Uh, this operation trained uh, from the beginning 5,000 uh, 5, 500 uh, Somalian soldiers in order to support the development and the reinforcement of the Somalian National Army. And the third one is ACAP Nestor. It is a civilian operation to develop and to enhance the law enforcement and judiciary system in uh, the Horn of Africa. Between 2011 and 2015, one billion euros has been spending in uh, in development uh, program, in addition of this operation on the security, and the fourth one is EMISOM, EMISOM, the African Union operation in Somalia, eighty percent of the salary of the African soldiers and the operational cost are supported by the European Union. So you can see civilian, military, training, uh, uh, Africa operation, development. European Union developed a very comprehensive approach in security matters in the Horn of Africa. Another example, sorry for this uh, crazy uh, diagram. We are right now almost American about slide uh, in Europe. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely sorry. But it's interesting to see that the idea to to develop in Sahel a comprehensive approach as well. It's less developed than in Horn of Africa because EMISOM is uh, around uh, 15 years, something like that, and Sahel is quite new. But right now, European Union develop specific tools for Sahel region in different domains, development, security, administrative issue, judiciary, and so on. Just two examples, yesterday, uh, in Bamako, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of European Union, it is not the official title, but uh, Federica Mogherini is something like a Minister of Foreign Affairs, announced that the European Union will give 50 million 
uh, dollars or euros, it's quite uh, the same at, uh, for this moment, uh, to the G5 cell multinational joint task force. The G5 cell decided to develop a common force, a joint forces between the five countries of G5 Sahel, and European Union decided yesterday in Bamako to give 50 million dollars. Another example, uh, last year, European Union decided to give 42 million dollars to develop police and gendarmerie forces in the same country plus Senegal. So, law enforcement, military, uh, military uh, or defense issues, European Union tried to have a comprehensive approach. And in addition, UCAP Mali Niger, the same mission than in Horn of Africa, civilian mission, um, train 6,500 members of law enforcement and judiciary uh, system in Mali and Niger. Just a short focus about EUTM Mali. Uh, it's a military mission uh, with three main uh, objectives. The first one is to uh, train uh, the Malian armed forces on the basic skills, and uh, uh, European Union uh, trained eight battle groups, something like uh, the 50% of the Malian army, of the Malian army. Right now, uh, <clears throat> since February 2017, they are doing some recycling. They are coming on in the country to the garrisons where the former battalion trained before are, st are located and they give some new uh, training to be sure that the battalion trained by the European Union are uh, always uh, trained. And uh, they develop a concept of combined mobile advisors advisory training team, CMATT, uh, responsible for this kind of, uh, of training. And the third uh, objective is to open the training to the J5 cell nations. And right now, they develop a, a training mission for the liaison officer. The idea is to give to the Mauritanian, Malian, Nigerian, Chadian, and uh, Burkinabe armed forces the, the habits to work together to deal with the common threats. About France right now, uh, <clears throat> there is a lot of issue about France in Africa and so on and so on. Uh, I just want to, to give you uh, uh, that f right now France is Africa is totally changed and it's, uh, it's a totally new approach with two main uh, steps. Uh, the first step was during the, uh, the mandate of the former President Sarkozy between 2007 and 2012. Uh, the renegotiation of the defense agreement. We signed new defense agreement with all, f uh, with uh, our all partner nation in Africa, in order to um, eliminate all the secret part of the former defense agreement. Just after the, the, the end of the colonialism uh, and uh, at the beginning of the independence, some defense agreement ha have uh, some, you know, uh, non-official or non-public uh, non, uh, uh, part, and that right now there is no more, no more uh, non-public non part of the defense agreement. Every defense agreement between France and Africa countries are published and totally uh, open to the public. The second step was during the mandate of President Hollande between 2012 and now, and with two cornerstones, the first one was the, was the White Paper of 2013, where uh, France po pointed out the idea that Sahel Science Strip is a very important issue on security matters for France, and I will explain to you why. And the second one was the Elysee Summit at the end of the same year, when France and all the African nations decided to develop a common approach about security and cooperation affairs. And with some very uh, public and very specific, uh, um, uh, how can I say, um, tools to say, okay, we want to train 20,000 soldiers uh, on African armed forces per year. 
it's very clear, very precise. France said to the African nation, we are ready to train 20,000 soldiers per year uh, in order to develop the capacity of the armed of the African armed forces on the continent. Why cell science uh, strip is very important for France about security issue? For a very simple uh, thing, between France and Africa, a couple of hours of a boat, nothing, it's nothing, nothing. You can, you can uh, probably, uh, a well-trained guy could uh, swim between Africa and Spain. So it's nothing, first. Second one, uh, just to give you an example, the second city of Malian, where there is some, a lot of Malian people, is in France. It's not in Mali. Uh, it's a city located near Paris, Montreuil-sous-Bois, and Montreuil-sous-Bois is a city with a lot of Malian people, and uh, there are a lot of links with their family in Mali, so uh, it could be, it could have some networks, legal networks, money from France to Mali, got it, great, but uh, illegal networks as well, uh, you know, a jihadist, a terrorist from Mali to France. That's why we have to deal with the security and uh, defense issues in Africa. To do that, uh, <clears throat> we develop a network uh, with different tools. The first one, the defense attaché, very well known. I do not want to develop this point. You know what uh, does it mean, defense attaché in the country, but we have uh, more than uh, uh, 30 defense uh, attaché offices uh, compared to the 54 uh, countries in Africa. So it's a very expand, uh, expensive uh, network. The second one, uh, maybe more important, it is the location uh, in Dakar, in uh, Libreville, and in Djibouti. Uh, these three locations uh, with the French general are responsible for the defense cooperation in ECOWAS, SEAC, and uh, East African uh, zone. And the idea is to have a dialogue between uh, practitioners on the soil, so very concrete and pragmatic program to uh, train the military armed forces in their country. Each year, the French general with his training team in Dakar has some dialogue with Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, and so on. Okay, guy, what are you, what do you want for the next year? I need a counter ID, I need uh, health, uh, uh, military health uh, uh, skills, I need uh, engineer skills, I need uh, uh, infantry skills, and so on. And we develop a program for the, the year after. And the same in Djibouti and in Liberty for the uh, regional economic uh, framework in Africa. It's very pragmatic, very efficient, and very useful for the countries because they ask for what they need. Another example of uh, a quite new uh, approach for Africa uh, in France is the uh, national schools with regional vocation. We develop a network of military schools in a lot of different domains, uh, staff, officer, war, war college, uh, health, engineer, counter ID, uh, finance, commissary, and so on. And the idea is to put on the table some finance, an advisor, and the country has to put some buildings, some uh, uh, trucks, some uh, computer, and develop a program not only for the country, for example, the War College in, in Yaoundé, uh, in Cameroon, but for the African country and very oriented to what they need. Because it's very, very well when uh, you spend one year in Paris to deal, uh, to, 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 to get the, the war college in Paris. It's very cool because you are in Paris and you deal with uh, a lot of, but we are talking about a defense issue uh, very far from Africa issue. Right now, in the war college in Yaoundé, we are 
uh, we are the, the, the students are talking about Africa security matters and Africa security issues. And we, France, uh, put some French officer and the diploma of the War College in Yaoundé is exactly the same as the diploma of the War College in Paris. When you are when you are graduate in Yaoundé, it's the same diploma than the diploma of France. And the idea is to give to the African officer the tools and the frameworks and the ideas what they need to deal with their own problems. Third example of what we are doing uh, right now in Africa, uh, it's uh, Operation Barkhane. Operation Barkhane, uh, it is the French national operation developed after the Mali crisis in uh, 2013. And the idea is to develop a common uh, operational network from Nouakchott, Mauritania, to Abéché, Chad, to deal with the common threat. After the Malian uh, crisis, uh, January uh, 2013, France launched a very quick, uh, a fast uh, counter-offensive against jihadists to stop them before Bamako. Okay, got it. But after that, these five countries, Mauritania, Mali, Burkina, Niger, and Chad, did, decided to create a new framework, a new diplomatic framework, the J5 Sahel, because they, de they, they developed the idea that they, to, they have a common threat about uh, terrorism in these five countries. And they asked for France to support them in their military efforts to deal with the, uh, with the terrorism and the, Afri and the uh, violent extremism organizations. And uh, the, the mission in France, yes, is to destroy uh, the networks and the terrorists when we can do that, but maybe it's not it's not maybe the most important things. The most important things is to push forward the local armed forces to have at the end of the mission some military African military military able to deal with their local forces. And to do that we have some uh, planning sessions with the five countries, and we develop a concept of operational military uh, cross-border operation. And uh, just an example, uh, since 2015, there, there are uh, 18, 18 uh, common operations between Mauritania and Mali, between Mali and Niger, between Niger and Chad. It's quite new. I, I'm, I don't know if you are uh, very familiar with this country, but think about common operation between Mali and Mauritania 10 years ago, impossible. Or between, uh, or between uh, uh, Mali and Niger, very difficult. And right now, they are doing some operation uh, together. And the last summit in Bamako yesterday uh, is a new step in this idea to uh, develop joint forces because the J5 Sahel decided to create a joint forces, common forces, and they want the, the approval of the Security Council in the United Nations next week. Last example, the fight against Boko Haram. And I would like to uh, underline the cooperation between France and US, the US and uh, UK, because uh, we develop a common uh, assessment of the situation. N neither uh, France, UK, nor uh, the United States wants to fight themselves against Boko Haram. So they decided to develop a liaison and coordination cell uh, with a P3 framework, some uh, officers from US, from France and from, uh, and from UK to develop the coordination with the, the country fighting against Boko Haram. And we have some very, very good results. And uh, European Union give, gave last year 100 million euro to develop the, the multinational joint task force uh, in Africa. If I want to let some question, I have to stop that. So in conclusion, uh, I hope that I will give you 
uh, I, I gave you some example of what we are doing in Africa and very new. Uh, it's a new concept, but maybe the main point, and right now we, are, we have in Africa a new generation of African military officers, African uh, politicians, and right now they try to create new framework, new idea, and new path, to, a new path uh, to, to deal with their common threat. Thank you very much.